Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is the Anime Man. And finally, it's time to start your weekly dose of anime and manga news and other cool stuff that I found. Welcome to episode one of the weekly anime update. That high quality intro, am I right? First of all, I'd like to give a huge shout out to uh, Skittles V2, I think that's how you say your name, uh, for giving me the suggestion for this new segment. Uh, he came up with the name The Weekly Anime Update, and uh, I saw it and I went, that's it. So thanks a lot, bro. To put it simply, The Weekly Anime Update is a weekly segment that I'm starting, uh, where I give you the weekly dose of anime and manga related news, and other cool anime and manga related stuff that I found over the internet. So, let's begin with our top stories. We're going to begin our top stories with the melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi. With 2014 being the 10th anniversary of the Suzumiya Haruhi manga series and the 11th anniversary of the original light novel series, Yen Press is set to release three anthologies into one massive book for the Suzumiya Haruhi series. Fans will be treated to a whopping 526 pages of Suzumiya Haruhi related illustrations and artworks by various artists. The book is set to be shipped out on October the 28th and retailed at 26 US dollars. Now I'm personally a huge fan of the Suzumiya Haruhi series. I've read pretty much all the light novels up to date and I've read a couple of volumes of the manga and of course I've watched both seasons of the anime as well. But I'm not too sure I want to buy a book done by other artists. I mean if the book, if the 528 pages was done by the original artist of either the light novel or the manga then hell yeah I'd buy it. But I'm not too sure I want to see other artists that I don't know doing the Suzumiya Haruhi characters and artworks, but there are some fans out there who will love this book nonetheless, so if you're one of those, then check it out. Now, if you ever visited the Holy Land of Otakus, also known as Akihabara, then you would know the existence of these things called cat cafes. For those who don't know, it's a cafe where you pay a certain entry fee, you pay for some overpriced drink or two, while getting some love from a bombardment of pussy cats. Now, for those who live in Japan, or otherwise, then you would already be treated to this love of pussy, such as those of you living in San Francisco. But it seems that other American cities want the love too. And that is where this new project called Cat Cafe comes in. Cafe is a project which aims to bring the love of cat cafes to the city of Los Angeles. I don't know why Australia doesn't have a cat cafe. I mean, seriously, I think if they put one in the middle of Sydney, or in Melbourne, or Brisbane somewhere, I reckon it'll make quite a bit of money, especially with the number of tourists that are coming over, and you know, the Asian population in Australia. Yeah, I think it'd, it'd be great. Not that I would go and spend my life savings on a cat cafe, you know, <laughs> why would I do that? <laughs> Now for some news which is just fucked up, yet fucking awesome. Check out this custom van, modelled after the horror anime Higurashi no Nakakoro ni. It was made by a guy called Amakusa Shiden, a fan of the anime living in the Fukui prefecture in Japan, who just apparently loves to get the attention of the police because he's actually been pulled over several times for this car. Blood covered interior and exterior? Check. A hand coming out of the hood of the car? Check. And awesome artwork on the side of the car? Check results in a badass car of badassery. Seriously though, I would love to drive around this car, I'm not even kidding. I wouldn't give two shits about the popos, seriously. I'll just show them an episode of Higurashi no Nakakori and they'll let me off, right? Right? Probably not. When anime series turn into games, it doesn't matter what kind of game it is or how you're looked upon by society when you buy the game. Every fan wants one. That's what a fan is all about, right? You support the anime, and then you support whatever comes out of the anime, such as the game. I guess it depends on what kind of series turn into what kind of game, as these two European ads have shown us for the new Sendan Kagura 3DS game. These two ads for the new Sendan Kagura game titled Sendan Kagura Burst have taught us mainly two things. Buying the game is embarrassing, and don't let your mom find out about it. Now, if you've watched the Sendan Kagura anime, then you would know what I'm talking about. It is a very etchy centered anime, also known as The Plot is Strong with this one. And the game is pretty much that, cross with Street Fighter. I've linked both the ads in the description below, so check them out. They're really short, but really funny ads, uh, which are sure to give you a laugh. If you're a Sendan Kagura fan and a Street Fighter fan, then I guess this game is for you, or you have some kind of weird fetish with ninjas with massive boobies fighting to the death. I don't know, there's some weird people out there on the internet, but I'm not one of them, trust me. 
Did you know that there is a term called holy sites, which is a term coined by otakus to name real life places that were used in either a scene of anime or a scene of manga or some part of the story of an anime or a manga? Well, one of these holy sites is actually in the Guinness World Records. Check out this bridge called the Horai Bridge in the Shizuoka Prefecture, holding the Guinness World Record for the longest wooden walking bridge. Spanning 897 meters, the bridge is known as a holy site after it was used in the light novel series to an anime, Golden Time. Not only is it a major plot point in the story, but we see several scenes of where the main character or main characters are actually walking or running across this bridge, making it a great holy site for Golden Time fans or just anime fans in general. I really want to check out this bridge, you know. I'm like, I'm not I'm not a holy site chaser or anything, but you know, if it's if it's a holy site then I'll go check it out, you know. I I have a house in Japan, I I can go check it out. I'll just skip on the bike crashing and falling into a bridge, almost killing myself, but in the end just losing my memory shit. Yeah. Let's move on now to a different segment called the Seiyu News, where it's news about voice actors and actresses that we all love anime for. Today we're touching on a very important piece of Seiyu News. Uh, if you guys know or don't know recently, uh, March the 1st was the day where they held the 8th annual Seiyu Awards in Japan. I've linked a video in the description below, which is the full ceremony if you guys are interested. Um, I've checked it out and it's pretty cool, so uh, yeah. Go check it out. But if you can't be bothered, then let me give you a rundown on what it was like. The winner of the best lead role uh, was won by Mr. Kajiyuki, who played the main character for, surprise, surprise, Attack on Titan. Yeah, if you didn't know already, which you probably should have, then uh, he voices Aaron. As well as many other characters, by the way, but you know, since the huge popularity span of Attack on Titan, like, all these other works is just nullified, to be honest. Like, I don't want to say that, but it's true. Not that I'm complaining, like, I'm a huge Kajiyuki fan, so good on you, bro. Like, you deserved it. Seriously. Winner of Best Lead Actress went to Sato Dina, who voices characters like Negi Springfield from Maho Sensei Negima and Misaka from the Tohada series. I love that voice, though. Like, she's got a really pretty voice. So, uh, yeah. You deserved it, too, Sato-san. Good on ya. Some other awards that caught my eye include the Best New Actress Award, which was won by the beautiful Uchida Maya, who is best known for her role as Rika in Chunibyo de Mokoyo State. But, but, look at her. Like, look at her. She's so damn cute. Like, I'm not even joking, she's fucking cute. Oh. And finally, the award that made me go, fuck yes, was the Most Votes Award, which I'm guessing goes to the voice actor or actress who had the most popularity, or is, you know, like, yeah, is probably got the most votes from the people who voted for to win an award or something like that, but didn't end up winning an award. And the biggest popularity award went to Mr. Kamiya Hiroshi, who is, like, my god recently. Like, he is... His works are awesome. Now, you may not know his name, but you'll definitely know the characters that he's played, including Orihara Izaya from Durarara, Aragi Koyomi from the Monogatari series, and Levi from Attack on Titan, as well as many others. I mean, he's done, like, if you watch an anime with his voice, then you can spot him right away. Like, his voice is just amazing. Like, he's a great voice actor. Very enjoyable to listen to. Again, if you're interested in watching the full ceremony of the 8th Annual CEO Awards, then I've put the link in the description below, so check it out. Um, check out, like, see if your favourite voice actors made it onto the list. But, uh, I'm pretty happy with the results, so, uh, keep up the good work, guys. Moving on to a new segment called the Anime Term of the Week, where I give you guys one term in Japanese, which you will most likely have heard in anime or have read in manga, but not too sure what it means, or you know, people get quite confused about it. So I'm going to use my Japanese skills to teach you guys the true meaning and how you can use it in real life. This week is a word that you hear a lot in anime, and you can actually use on your friends and cohorts in real life. When an anime character is frustrated or pissed off, you will most likely have heard him go, Fuzakenna! 
I've had a lot of people ask me what that word actually means because they've seen the subtitles for that particular word and every time it's actually changed. So I'm going to give it to you guys clear and straight as to what it means and how you can use it. So what it directly the term literally means, don't play around. Which in English can also be translated to such words like bullshit, stop screwing around or don't fuck around motherfucker. So the next time someone gives you shit, don't tell them to piss off. Instead, you can shout out, Who's I getting that? Trust me, it'll scare the shit out of them. And that was the Anime Term of the Week. And finally, I'm going to ask you every week in this segment a question of the week, where you get to say your part in the comments below. Since we talked about the ads for the new Sendon Kagura anime, I want to pop this question to you guys this week. Would you be willing to buy an anime-themed game, no matter how embarrassing it is? Why or why not? For me, it really depends on the game. I mean, if you guys know, on my channel, I've played uh, a couple of embarrassing games, like the uh, K-On! rhythm game on the PSP. Like, I wouldn't buy that in Japan. And I wouldn't want to play that game in public. But who gives a shit about me? I want to hear your answers. So, make sure you put your answers in the comments below. I really want to hear what you guys think about this, because uh, a couple of you, hopefully, are going to give me some really interesting reasons as to why or why not. That's it for the first episode of the weekly anime update. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions as to how to make this segment better, I mean, once again, this is still the first episode, and uh, your suggestions are going to make this segment better by the episode. So, if you have any suggestions at all as to what you can add, what you can change, what I did wrong, what I did right, make sure you put all that shit in the comments below, and uh, no opinion is a stupid opinion so just put any idea that you can think of down in the comments below i want to make this segment better for you guys yeah i want to make this segment something that you can enjoy so if you have something that you enjoy but i didn't fucking put it in then put it in the comments below along with your answers and everything yeah <laughs> anyways that's it guys as always like and favorite if you enjoyed subscribe for more anime banter and I'll see you guys soon. Keep watching anime. Daddy!